One of the problems that we all face, challenges, not necessarily a problem, that we all face uh, coming up with uh, Scout Remote Learning is that we need to make sure we are providing all of the necessary accommodations for our students with special needs. And if an SDI specifies that the student uh, may have test items read to him or her, Schoology has a really great feature and it's very easy to use. So if you're planning on, on giving some tests in Schoology, you have to use the new assessments, not the old test. I'm going to open up one here. This is one that I give on plagiarism. And under setup, if you scroll down, you have an option to allow students to use a text-to-speech toolbar. And by default, that will be on no, but if you click it to yes and then save, what the student can do, let me show you what this looks like if we preview the test from a, a student perspective. Start a new attempt and we should get a question here in just a second. All right, so there's our question. And there is a, a toolbar that shows up right here. And if you hit play. Plagiarism, understanding and avoiding, one of 27. Is this example plagiarism or not? Example, a student isn't sure whether a given fact is common knowledge or not. She finds the same information unattributed in five different sources, and so she uses the information without an in-text reference or a works cited listing. Ouch. That's plagiarism. It's all cool. This is not plagiarism. It depends on whether or not the passages have quotation marks or not.